Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be focusing on that disturbance in the Caribbean, which is designated as Infest 95L. So it has a high chance to develop and it is a threat to some areas and in the long term, other areas such as Jamaica should be on watch for possible impacts from the system and so before i go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video Okay, and so we are seeing that uh, we have quite a bit of activity that is seen in the eastern part of the region, and that is in association with Invest 95L. So that is the designation of the system because it is an area of interest. And so as it is going to be making its way uh, further to the west or to the west northwest, it is expected to encounter some conducive conditions, and that is when we could possibly see some development. But for now, it is looking a lot better on satellite than it did last night and uh, the activity in sections of the Lesser Antilles is dissipating. However, there is still that risk of flooding across some areas such as Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. So uh, those areas could possibly feel some impacts from the system as it is going to be making its way by. Though this is not a tropical cyclone uh, right now, it can still bring some really awful impacts. I mean, uh, Trinidad definitely took a hit from the system in terms of all the rainfall that fell i saw many comments of persons given their different updates which i really appreciate guys i love when you guys are very interactive and uh hopefully everyone is okay right now in trinidad and so now we have the system making its way towards the west where we could possibly see it intensifying and affecting even more areas as a possibly more intense system and so uh now let's go ahead and take a look at what the national hurricane center is expecting for this system here so let's go on to the outlook map and we're seeing here that there is a high 70 percent chance of us uh seeing development of the system and so it is expected to move on a west to west northwest road like track and uh, this could possibly affect Hispaniola, Jamaica and more than likely Central America in the coming week. And so let's go ahead and now take a look at what the various models are showing and afterwards we'll be looking at conditions that are currently there for the system. And so we're starting off with the Euro and so if you are not too keen on this map, this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are the black lines that you see those squiggly lines all around and so uh, when they are in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 1030 millibars that's the value that you see that indicates a low pressure area and that could possibly be a tropical cyclone and so let's see what the euro is expecting there we have the time right at the top of your uh, screen and so as you're going to be heading to Monday, here we have the system making a very close approach to Jamaica. We're not seeing a whole lot of isobars and we see a minimum pressure in the vicinity of Jamaica around 1,005 millibars thereabouts. So Euro is not expecting a whole lot of development of the system and then eventually the model has a system uh, making its way into Belize, Guatemala, uh, portions of Mexico. But uh, I mean, this is not guaranteed to happen and we definitely have to wait and see but the models are not really showing anything strong so that is some good news but regardless a strong system in terms of intensity uh, being a tropical storm or hurricane that is not needed for us to see major flooding as i said before uh, what happened in trinidad is a prime example of that so if you're in jamaica you definitely have to be keeping your eyes on the tropics at least for the early part of uh, early to middle parts of next week and then as we head to the icon model icon is expecting that uh something similar that we're not going to be seeing any major development but the model has a system making its way directly over jamaica and then into the northwestern caribbean and route to portions of the yucatan and belize so uh this is around monday going to tuesday uh what we're seeing now as i said it's not guaranteed there can be changes because uh, we're still a few days out from the system 
system here in Jamaica. So uh, my fellow Jamaicans, yes, there have been many times when there were tropical cyclones seen as threats, but they never actually made landfall. But we don't need a tropical cyclone for major impacts. Ian, uh, a few weeks ago, resulted in quite a bit of flooding across a lot of parishes and it was not making its way over us. So uh, those other bands from Ian really did a number on us uh, in some parishes several weeks ago. And so hopefully they, uh, this system won't be too strong, but models have been trending towards it, making a very close approach to Jamaica. And regardless of the intensity, one thing that is likely is the heavy rainfall, which can uh, in turn lead to flash flooding or will likely lead to flash flooding in low-lying areas. And so uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS model. And so here we have GFS expecting that we're not going to be seeing a whole lot become the system. And as it approaches Jamaica, we start to see more of a weakening of the cyclone here and the system heads into Central America. But uh, we see something else developing well south of Jamaica in the Southern Caribbean Sea. So uh, this is quite interesting as well, what GFS is expecting here. And eventually the model shows that we're going to be having the system making its way to the northeast so quite interesting and uh we'll definitely have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at what current conditions are like and so we're going to be starting off with the sea surface temperatures right now and in the caribbean things are so warm we're seeing 29 30 celsius thereabout that is definitely going to be fueling the system and helping it to really uh, have that concentration of activity taking place within it. However, other factors must be uh, considered in terms of the intensification, such as the wind shear. So looking at the wind shear map right now, we're seeing these different colors, the red lines, uh, the green lines, and the yellow lines. The red indicates unfavorable wind shear, the yellow indicates neutral shear, and the green means favorable shear. And so more favorable shear is starting to set in for portions of the Caribbean. And that is what this system is definitely going to need because when there is strong wind shear present what happens is that uh, it really helps to prevent growth and intensification because once those uh, thunderstorms are starting to grow then that wind shear really just kind of cuts them off so that is something that uh, tropical cyclones do not like so in order for them to thrive they must be in a conducive environment which is favorable wind shear and then in terms of this map right now this is showing the water vapor and where we're seeing those yellows and oranges uh, indicate dry air meanwhile those green and white areas indicate moisture and so moisture is what and so moisture is what we're looking for here. So dry, stable conditions really help to prevent uh, significant intensif intensification as well. And this could be one of the factors that would allow for the system to not become something very strong because it is not in a it's not going to be entering a region that is just very, very moist. So uh, we have to wait and see what the outcome is going to be. But again, all those models are trending towards areas such as Jamaica, feeling impacts from the system as you're going to be progressing into the early part of next week. And so my fellow Jamaicans, we definitely have to be on watch for this. And let's not take it lightly. We're not taking this with a grain of salt. So please make all the necessary preparations in terms of ensuring that you're in a safe location and uh, in the case of heavy rainfall and flooding do not attempt to cross flooded roadways or rivers and just take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and so guys that is really it for right now in terms of 95L and again if we have this developing into a tropical storm the name it will acquire is uh, Lisa so let's see if this is going to be Lisa in the next few days but we could see it becoming a depression very soon and so that is really it for right now if if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise.